cómo están hoy, cómo amanecieron, deseándoles un día precioso, bendecido, porque Dios es bueno. The last couple of weeks have been difficult. My mom was in palliative care. She had been staying in the hospital. In the last week or so, we noticed more of a cognitive decline. Um, I would say even two weeks before, but it was just very slight. She would she would catch herself and then she would just say, oh, <laughs> you know what I meant. That's not what I meant to say. And you could tell she was recognizing what was going on. We all said bye to her on Wednesday. She said goodnight and she told grandma that she loved her and I could tell it took a lot of physical effort from her part to, to, to word those things. And she blew us a kiss when we walked out the door and she waved like this and she mouthed the words, love you to me. Thursday around noon. Maybe it was a pain and also state of confusion episode where she was um, yelling. So the nurse called me immediately and let me know um, to come to the hospital to discuss following steps. And I, I, I knew that they were going to discuss sedating her. We got there and then they explained the process of like, you need to get a funeral home. We can connect you with the palliative care psychologist and please let us know if you need anything. And I, ha I have the social worker's information and everything. And then that was when I told my grandma, cause she was there and she doesn't speak any English or French. That was very difficult. She's 80, right? But she's very lucky that she was able to come here and see my mom in her last moments and Friday at 4.30 in the morning because I let them know, call me if anything changes so that I can be there maybe when she passes and um, they called me and let me know that her breathing has had changed. At first I said, oh, well like, you know, I'm, I don't think I'm gonna go, but then I couldn't sleep. So I took a bus at like almost six o'clock in the morning actually. And I walked up the hill to go to the, to the hospital and I just held her hand the whole time but I put her hand here. I told her, Mama, I love you. I love you no matter what. I just told her, it's okay. It's okay if you go. I'm gonna be okay. Everyone is gonna be okay. And we were so lucky to have you in our life. And, and you were the best the best mom I could have ever asked for and then I played her a clip from my aunt that my aunt had sent her earlier saying that she was gonna keep an eye on me I read her Salmo 91 because she had a picture of it in her phone only a few moments later she stopped breathing and so she passed away at 7.08 on August 18th, 2023. Mom loved plants. She had a green thumb. She saved one leaf from this monstera. She found it on a street corner in 2019 and now it's a massive, massive beast. She was always smiling, even in the hardest moments, and a constant source of laughter and warmth. She loved cooking, loved to bake. She worked with children as a daycare educator. That gives me a little bit of consolation, in a sense, because she loved children so much and she would never meet any grandchildren. I have my work cut out for me because she had a lot of things. She's a lover of perfumes, clothing, oh my goodness, you guys, jewelry and products. My aunt came from Spain. She came for 20 days and she helped me go through a lot of things. She passed away before my grandma could leave, which actually kind of worked out because my grandmother had said it would have 
hurt me so badly to leave while she was unconscious in the hospital like that and at least this gives us some kind of peace and finality that she's no longer suffering I threw out the mattress that was here because it was my old mattress actually that I switched out I figured that way I could use this space to sort through her possessions clothing that I put under a desk based off of a recommendation of a friend of mine who has also lost both of her parents and a step-parent to boot and she suggested get a woman's shelter that I could donate mom's clothes that are still good that I'm not interested in wearing I have to contact the CLSC to give them back the bench and the, the portable toilet she didn't use but the bench for showering was really helpful when she had to shower and her legs were feeling weak I think I did everything that I possibly could to be there for my mom so I, I don't have any regrets in that sense the only thing that hurts me is how late she was diagnosed which I kind of want to talk about at a later time because I think it's just you you don't you don't think it's gonna happen to you until it happens to you and then it's devastating another really important point that i want to make is when you have a relative get diagnosed with advanced cancer whether you have faith that they can possibly overcome disease i would highly recommend that you look into end of life arrangements have an idea of what you want in terms of memorial, funeral, burial versus cremation, get your resources together, update your will, your mandate, and your power of attorney. I had to do everything within the last three months and that's something that I sort of wish that I had done around the time that she had been diagnosed. Mind you, I've been dealing with anticipatory grief um, since the very minute she was diagnosed and even before that when we knew it was cancer people will say hurtful and stupid things to you try to block all that stuff out and you will be surprised at the people who are on your side versus the people who disappear it shows you the people who really care about you let the people who care about you help you don't be too proud to accept assistance i can't even explain to you how many times people have asked me like what do you need do you need anything i don't know but most of the time we need whatever it is that's going to make our life easier not a box of chocolates flowers not always necessary but they are very nice i mean especially if a person likes flowers but really send a meal offer to run an errand, offer to help take someone to their appointments or to be there when they need to be picked up after any kind of medical procedure. That's the best that you could do. Taxi vouchers, Uber vouchers, money, those things help a lot. If you want to share anything in the comments down below, feel free to do so and please take care of yourselves. Bye.